Good morning. So today is November 6th and y'all have to forgive me. I'm doing my makeup while we chat because girls got things to do. Um, so today is November 6th and we're doing my gratitude vlog still and today is the day that one of my very best friends was born. So happy birthday Drew and today is all about you. Drew and I went to high school together. <laughs> we were um, actually on the debate team together back in the day, which Drew never like did the debates, but he did a lot of um, like original oratory, like fun speeches because he's funny. It's not something I ever excelled at. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have lots of good times together. He's actually one of my roommates. I think he's made one appearance in one of my videos in my um, like getting ready for trick or treaters video. Drew has been around for like, you know, basically all of my adult and like high school events. Shenanigans has been pretty supportive friend. He's supporting me through all this and will watch like, you know, all of my <laughs> hair tutorials that he obviously doesn't care about at all. So that's a sign of a good guy friend, right? Um, but it goes all the way back to like uh, high school when I decided I wanted to play tennis, which was a horrible decision just in general. I'm not meant for athletics or anything that requires coordination. Kind of like trying to do my makeup in a viewfinder instead of a mirror. Who knows what this is gonna look like today, y'all. So he would go and help me practice my lack of tennis skills and <laughs> You know, I wasn't great, but I was always excited when I can return a ball, and so he was equally as excited when he could get a ball over. So I'd like hit one that like went way the wrong way, and he manages it to return it to me, and somehow I like scoot myself over to the other side and like backhand it back to him. And he was so relieved that he had like hit it, he didn't think I'd get it and isn't paying attention. All of a sudden there's like this ball coming towards him. He's like running, trying to like grab it and run straight into a fence. <laughs> and that was the end of that session because I could not stop laughing long enough to be able to practice anymore. So thanks Drew for uh, that fun story. That still makes me laugh like 15 years later basically. Going back to our um, debate team days, you know, since we weren't like athletes, that was like our main activity. So our moms, like my mom and Drew's mom, would take turns being like the official debate moms and would pack like coolers and snacks and stuff so that we would have um, <laughs> things to eat during the day and would just like basically hang out with us all day. It was really like cute and sweet and you know, moms know teenagers get hangry. We gotta have snacks. So also thanks Drew's mom and my mom for those of you who like aren't in debate world, and I don't know, maybe this is just like what we called it. I think it might just be what we called it, but you know, um, so like you're doing good at a tournament or whatever. And so we would call the winners the master debater, <laughs> right? Cause we're funny and we were teenagers. I still think it's funny and I'm well beyond teenage years. Drew since he won his original oratory stuff. Yeah, so I didn't like ever like place because there were a ton of debaters and I just guess I wasn't that good at arguing, which everyone in my house would probably beg to differ at this point. Um, but Drew won his original oratory stuff probably a couple times. And so birthday boy himself is crowned from high school, a master debater. I feel like it's also sort of notable that we are such longtime friends because I moved around a ton as a kid. Like, we, uh, I was born in Birmingham and then we moved to like Cincinnati when I was like three or something. And then to Jacksonville, Florida when I was like 10. And then to, um, you know, Alabama when I was like 16. So unlike uh, all of my, not all of my, but most of my friends here in the South, who like have known each other since like pre-K. I don't even understand that. I don't have like a 
ton of friends that I've been like close with for that long. So I'm glad that, you know, he's stuck with my crazy all these years. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning while I did my makeup. Sorry, you didn't get to see the whole thing. Maybe one day I'll do a full tutorial on that. But um, happy birthday, Drew. I'll see you so soon. I think tonight, if not, I'll see you in the morning. Um, everyone else, have an amazing day. Make sure to tell your friends you love them and appreciate them and try to focus on that instead of all this election drama crazy and love each other and have an amazing day all right y'all it's the real ray bye